Brought to you by Wikivide Documentaries. The Simpsons The Simpsons is an American animated sitcom created by Matt Groening for the Fox Broadcasting Company. The series is a satirical depiction of working class life, epitomized by the Simpson family, which consists of Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. The show is set in the fictional town of Springfield and parodies American culture and society, television, and the human condition. The family was conceived by Groening shortly before a solicitation for a series of animated shorts with producer James L. Brooks. Groening created a dysfunctional family and named the characters after members of his own family, substituting Bart for his own name. The shorts became a part of The Tracy Ullman Show on April 19, 1987. After a three-season run, the sketch was developed into a half-hour prime-time show and became an early hit for Fox becoming the network's first series to land in the top 30 ratings in a season. Since its debut on December 17, 1989, episodes of The Simpsons have been broadcast. Its 29th season began on October 1, 2017. It is the longest-running American sitcom and the longest-running American animated program, and, in 2009, it surpassed Gunsmoke as the longest-running American scripted primetime television series. The Simpsons movie, a feature-length film, was released in theaters worldwide on July 27, 2007, and grossed over $527 million. On November 4, 2016, the series was renewed for a 29th and 30th season of 22 episodes each, extending the show to 2019. The Simpsons received widespread critical acclaim throughout its first nine or ten seasons, which are generally considered its golden age. Time named it the 20th century's best television series, and Eric Adams of the AV Club named it television's crowning achievement regardless of format. On January 14, 2000, The Simpson Family was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It has won dozens of awards since it debuted as a series, including 31 Primetime Emmy Awards, 30 Annie Awards, and a Peabody Award. Homer's exclamatory catchphrase, do, has been adopted into the English language, while The Simpsons has influenced many other later adult-oriented animated sitcoms. Despite this, the show has also been criticized for what many perceive as a decline in quality over the years, generally since about the late 1990s. Characters The Simpsons are a family who live in a fictional, middle America, town of Springfield. Homer, the father, works as a safety inspector at the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant, a position at odds with his careless, buffoonish personality. He is married to Marge, a stereotypical American housewife and mother. They have three children, Bart, a ten-year-old troublemaker, Lisa, a precocious eight-year-old activist, and Maggie, the baby of the family who rarely speaks, but communicates by sucking on a pacifier. Although the family is dysfunctional, many episodes examine their relationships and bonds with each other and they are often shown to care about one another. The family owns a dog, Santa's little helper, and a cat, Snowball V, renamed Snowball 2 in I, Bot. Both pets have had starring roles in several episodes. The show includes an array of quirky supporting characters, co-workers, teachers, family friends, extended relatives, townspeople and local celebrities. The creators originally intended many of these characters as one-time jokes or for fulfilling needed functions in the town. A number of them have gained expanded roles and subsequently starred in their own episodes. According to Matt Groening, the show adopted the concept of a large supporting cast from the comedy show SCTV. Despite the depiction of yearly milestones such as holidays or birthdays passing, the characters do not age between episodes, and generally appear just as they did when the series began. The series uses a floating timeline in which episodes generally take place in the year the episode is produced even though the characters do not age. Flashbacks slash forwards do occasionally depict the characters at other points in their lives with the timeline of these depictions also generally floating relative to the year the episode is produced. In a nod to the non-aging aspect of the show, when asked during the episode, The Simpsons guy, how long Nelson Muntz has been bullying him, Bart replies, 24 years. Setting 
The Simpsons takes place in the fictional American town of Springfield in an unknown and impossible to determine U.S. state. The show is intentionally evasive in regard to Springfield's location. Springfield's geography, and that of its surroundings, contains coastlines, deserts, vast farmland, tall mountains, or whatever the story or joke requires. Groening has said that Springfield has much in common with Portland, Oregon, the city where he grew up. The name, Springfield, is a common one in America and appears in 22 states. Groening has said that he named it after Springfield, Oregon, and the fictitious Springfield which was the setting of the series Father Knows Best. He, figured out that Springfield was one of the most common names for a city in the US in anticipation of the success of the show. I thought, this will be cool. Everyone will think it's their Springfield. And they do. An astronomer and fan of the show, Phil Platt, humorously noticed that The Simpsons could be set in Australia, because the moon in Springfield faces the wrong way to be an American location. Development When producer James L. Brooks was working on the television variety show The Tracy Ullman Show, he decided to include small animated sketches before and after the commercial breaks. Having seen one of cartoonist Matt Greening's Life in Hell comic strips, Brooks asked Groening to pitch an idea for a series of animated shorts. Groening initially intended to present an animated version of his Life in Hell series. However, Groening later realized that animating Life in Hell would require the rescinding of publication rights for his life's work. He therefore chose another approach while waiting in the lobby at Brooks' office for the pitch meeting, hurriedly formulating his version of a dysfunctional family that became The Simpsons. He named the characters after his own family members, substituting Bart for his own name, adopting an anagram of the word Brat. The Simpson family first appeared as shorts in The Tracy Ullman Show on April 19, 1987. Groening submitted only basic sketches to the animators and assumed that the figures would be cleaned up in production. However, the animators merely retraced his drawings, which led to the crude appearance of the characters in the initial shorts. The animation was produced domestically at Class Kichupo, with Wes Archer, David Silverman, and Bill Kopp being animators for the first season. Colorist Gyorgi Ipalus was the person who decided to make the characters yellow. In 1989, a team of production companies adapted The Simpsons into a half-hour series for the Fox Broadcasting Company. The team included the Class Kichupo Animation House. Brooks negotiated a provision in the contract with the Fox Network that prevented Fox from interfering with the show's content. Groening said his goal in creating the show was to offer the audience an alternative to what he called the mainstream trash that they were watching. The half-hour series premiered on December 17, 1989, with Simpsons roasting on an open fire. Some Enchanted Evening was the first full-length episode produced but it did not broadcast until May 1990, as the last episode of the first season, because of animation problems. In 1992, Tracy Ullman filed a lawsuit against Fox, claiming that her show was the source of the series' success. The suit said she should receive a share of the profits of The Simpsons, a claim rejected by the courts. Executive Producers and Showrunners List of showrunners throughout the series' run Matt Groening and James L. Brooks have served as executive producers during the show's entire history, and also function as creative consultants. Sam Simon, described by former Simpsons director Brad Bird as the unsung hero of the show, served as creative supervisor for the first four seasons. He was constantly at odds with Groening, Brooks, and the show's production company Gracie Films and left in 1993. Before leaving, he negotiated a deal that sees him receive a share of the profits every year, and an executive producer credit despite not having worked on the show since 1993, at least until his passing in 2015. A more involved position on the show is the showrunner, who acts as head writer and manages the show's production for an entire season. Writing The first team of writers, assembled by Sam Simon, consisted of John Schwartzwelder, John Vitti, George Meyer, Jeff Martin, Al Jean, Mike Rice, Jake Hogan and Wallace Wolodarski. Newer Simpsons writing teams typically consist of 16 writers who propose episode ideas at the beginning of each December. The main writer of each episode writes the first draft. 
group rewriting sessions develop final scripts by adding or removing jokes, inserting scenes, and calling for re-readings of lines by the show's vocal performers. Until 2004, George Meyer, who had developed the show since the first season, was active in these sessions. According to longtime writer John Vitti, Meyer usually invented the best lines in a given episode, even though other writers may receive script credits. Each episode takes six months to produce so the show rarely comments on current events. Credited with 60 episodes, John Schwarzwelder is the most prolific writer on The Simpsons. One of the best-known former writers is Conan O'Brien, who contributed to several episodes in the early 1990s before replacing David Letterman as host of the talk show Late Night. English comedian Ricky Gervais wrote the episode, Homer Simpson, This Is Your Wife, becoming the first celebrity to both write and guest star in an episode. Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, writers of the film Superbad, wrote the episode, Homer the Whopper, with Rogen voicing a character in it. At the end of 2007, the writers of The Simpsons went on strike together with the other members of the Writers Guild of America, East. The show's writers had joined the guild in 1998. Voice Actors The Simpsons has six main cast members, Dan Castellaneta, Julie Kavner, Nancy Cartwright, Yardy Smith, Hank Rosaria, and Harry Shearer. Castellaneta voices Homer Simpson, Grandpa Simpson, Krusty the Clown, Groundskeeper Willie, Mayor Quimby, Barney Gumbel and other adult male characters. Julie Kavner voices Marge Simpson and Patty and Selma, as well as several minor characters. Castellaneta and Kavner had been a part of the Tracy Ullman show cast and were given the part so that new actors would not be needed. Cartwright voices Bart Simpson, Nelson Muntz, Ralph Wiggum and other children. Smith, the voice of Lisa Simpson, is the only cast member who regularly voices only one character although she occasionally plays other episodic characters. The producers decided to hold casting for the roles of Bart and Lisa. Smith had initially been asked to audition for the role of Bart, but casting director Bonita Petila believed her voice was too high, so she was given the role of Lisa instead. Cartwright was originally brought in to voice Lisa, but upon arriving at the audition, she found that Lisa was simply described as the middle child and, at the time did not have much personality. Cartwright became more interested in the role of Bart, who was described as, devious, underachieving, school-hating, irreverent, and, clever. Groaning let her try out for the part instead, and upon hearing her read, gave her the job on the spot. Cartwright is the only one of the six main Simpsons cast members who had been professionally trained in voice acting prior to working on the show. Azaria and Shira do not voice members of the title family, but play a majority of the male townspeople. Azaria, who has been a part of the Simpsons' regular voice cast since the second season, voices recurring characters such as Moses Lack, Chief Wiggum, Apu Nahasapima Petalon and Professor Frink. Shearer provides voices for Mr. Burns, Mr. Smithers, Principal Skinner, Ned Flanders, Reverend Lovejoy, and Dr. Hibbert. Every main cast member has won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Voice Over Performance. With one exception, episode credits list only the voice actors, and not the characters they voice. Both Fox and the production crew wanted to keep their identities secret during the early seasons and, therefore, closed most of the recording sessions while refusing to publish photos of the recording artists. However, the network eventually revealed which roles each actor performed in the episode, Old Money, because the producers said the voice actors should receive credit for their work. In 2003, the cast appeared in an episode of Inside the Actors Studio doing live performances of their characters' voices. The six main actors were paid $30,000 per episode until 1998, when they were involved in a pay dispute with Fox. The company threatened to replace them with new actors, even going as far as preparing for casting of new voices. But series creator Groening supported the actors in their action. The issue was soon resolved and, from 1998 to 2004, they were paid $125,000 per episode. The show's revenue continued to rise through syndication and DVD sales, and in April 2004 the main cast stopped appearing for script readings, demanding they be paid $360,000 per episode. 
The strike was resolved a month later and their salaries were increased to something between $250,000 and $360,000 per episode. In 2008, production for the 20th season was put on hold due to new contract negotiations with the voice actors, who wanted a healthy bump in salary to an amount close to $500,000 per episode. The negotiation was soon completed, and the actor's salary was raised to $400,000 per episode. Three years later, with Fox threatening to cancel the series unless production costs were cut, the cast members accepted a 30% pay cut, down to just over $300,000 per episode. In addition to the main cast, Pamela Hayden, Tress McNeil, Marsha Wallace, Maggie Roswell, and Lucy Taylor voiced supporting characters. From 1999 to 2002, Roswell's characters were voiced by Marcia Mitzman Gavin. Carl Wiedergott has also appeared in minor roles, but does not voice any recurring characters. Wiedergott left the show in 2010, and, since then Chris Edgley has appeared regularly to voice minor characters. Repeat, special guest. Cast members include Albert Brooks, Phil Hartman, John Lovitz, Joe Mantegna, Morris Larmarker, and Kelsey Grammer. Following Hartman's death in 1998, the characters he voiced were retired. Wallace's character of Edna Krabappel was retired as well after her death in 2013. Episodes will quite often feature guest voices from a wide range of professions, including actors, athletes, authors, bands, musicians, and scientists. In the earlier seasons, most of the guest stars voiced characters, but eventually more started appearing as themselves. Tony Bennett was the first guest star to appear as himself, appearing briefly in the season 2 episode, Dance in Homer. The Simpsons holds the world record for most guest stars featured in a television series. The Simpsons has been dubbed into several other languages, including Japanese, German, Spanish, and Portuguese. It is also one of the few programs dubbed in both standard French and Quebec French. The show has been broadcast in Arabic, but due to Islamic customs, numerous aspects of the show have been changed. For example, Homer drinks soda instead of beer, and eats Egyptian beef sausages instead of hot dogs. Because of such changes, the Arabized version of the series met with a negative reaction from the lifelong Simpsons fans in the area. Animation Several different US and international studios animate The Simpsons. Throughout the run of the animated shorts on The Tracy Ullman Show, the animation was produced domestically at Klasky Chupo. With the debut of the series, because of an increased workload, Fox subcontracted production to several local and foreign studios. These are Acom, Anivision, Rough Draft Studios, US Animation, and Toon Zone Entertainment. For the first three seasons, Klasky Chupo animated The Simpsons in the United States. In 1992, the show's production company, Gracie Films, switched domestic production to Film Roman, who continued to animate the show until 2016. In season 14, production switched from traditional cell animation to digital ink and paint. The first episode to experiment with digital coloring was Radioactive Man. In 1995, animators used digital ink and paint during production of the season 12 episode, Tennis the Menace. But Gracie Films delayed the regular use of digital ink and paint until two seasons later. The already completed, Tennis the Menace, was broadcast as made. The production staff at the US animation studio, Film Roman, draws storyboards, designs new characters, backgrounds, props, and draws character and background layouts, which in turn become animatics to be screened for the writers at Gracie Films for any changes to be made before the work is shipped overseas. The overseas studios then draw the in-betweens, ink and paint, and render the animation to tape before it is shipped back to the United States to be delivered to Fox three to four months later. The series began high-definition production in season 20. The first episode, Take My Life, Please, aired February 15, 2009. The move to HDTV included a new opening sequence. Matt Groening called it a complicated change, because it affected the timing and composition of animation. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?